Hello all my fishy friends and welcome back to this week's Stay Fishy Adventure. If you didn't know already, we're back in the Great White North. We got a boat, we got an ocean, and we have a plethora of adventure in front of us. Who knows where today's gonna go? We're up here in Sitka, Alaska. We're back in Alaska and we're headed out in the ocean to see what we can find. Come along for the ride, it's gonna be an awesome day. So what we got for bait today, everybody, I got this big giant thing we call a hoochie, and it basically imitates like a glow-in-the-dark squid. I got, oddly enough, some chunks of uh, octopus on there from some octopus somebody gave us up here for bait, actually. They apparently the that love the octopus, and I got a big... Ah! Men are working, Cameron. Men are working. Men are working. <laughs> and then I got a big giant herring off the back end of that and a bunch of nasty, stinky scents on there. So, let's see if it works. Back up right into the right. <laughs> Man, that's nasty. Dude. Whatever it is, it ain't fighting. I'll have like a rock or something, watch. Octopus! Hell yeah. Grab it, him. Jordan. Oh, Get him in here. <laughs> All right. That thing is so weak. It's like an alien. Whoa. Wow. Look at them all sprawling out. That's so cool. Wait, let's not film them. What are you doing? He's sticking. That is so cool. Oh, oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. That's the halibut. Get it, the halibut. Fish on. Maybe it's not a halibut, but it's something good. What was it on? It's not there. You lost him? Oh, it's on a circle hook, so I don't think it's going to spin it. Big shiny yellow eye. Is it? Shiny yellow eye. Okay, okay. Well, as we were so rudely interrupted by this giant beast of a thing. Holy Christ. Look at this thing. Nasty big old yellow eye. Unfortunately, we can't keep these ones. But what we can keep is that octopus, obviously, that Marlin just caught. A little bit of excitement. First excitement of the day. What a cool fish. So we have to send this thing back down. Beautiful, beautiful fish, but these things are apparently endangered here in Alaska. You can't keep them in the region that we're fishing in, so let's send this beauty back to the deep. Uh oh, what is that? I don't think it has the right head shape. Okay, you're good, Lane. Take it off. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa. Okay then! I think uh, that might be my lane, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! Look at that thing! That's a freaking lane and a half. Oh my god! It's a monster! I might be too big. Yeah. Well, now he wants to fight. Look at what Cameron just got. <laughs> freaking sea monster. So these things have to be exactly 30 to 35 inches for us to keep. So we're gonna see if we get to eat this one for dinner tonight. We gotta get out the magic scale and see if it's a legal fit. Oh, he's way big. He's way, way too over. big. Yeah, I mean, he's 38, 39. 
Still. A little snaggle. Look at that. Look at that mouth. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. <laughs> That's a big fish. She's heavy. I'm putting it back. <laughs> Hard to argue with those results. Thing didn't really fight on the way out, but man, what a cool fish. Let's see what you guys think of that below. Back to fishing. That's like a lift into it. You need to learn to go down. Ooh, ooh, go easy, go easy. Oh, don't move, no, 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 God. Hook. Oh, my thread. That is. Oh. oh. Alright, we are in the midst of an all out rockfish bite. I'm going with a mustad octopus. We already caught an octopus, now we're going to use an imitation octopus to try to catch the other part of our meal. Okay, we're down there. We're down there. The octopus is on the bottom. Oh, I already got one. Oh, he's on. Oh, he's on. Boy, that didn't take long. Octopus for the win. Wow, look at this, everybody. Look at this thing. Look at how gorgeous this China rockfish is. So this is a fish that is actually protected in this part of Alaska. We're not allowed to take these things home. But that is one of the coolest looking fish in the ocean. Wow, radical colors. Oh wow, look at that. He's got a little, little starfish, little baby starfish in his gullet. There's a bunch of them down there. Wow, neat. Okay, let's send him home. Just stuck him. Just stuck him. I can't even hit the bottle without touching one. I got a little smally lift on him. Look at that one, boys. Well, Halibut hasn't been working out for us this morning, but I'll take a few of those. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, Bendorama. Oh, Ten and a half foot Bendo. Oh, the rock fisher. Oh, oh, he's really fighting me. He's fighting me, everybody. Look at Oh, he's a jumper. He's a jumper. All right. Here it is. Black rock. You guys have seen this on the channel before. One of my favorite fish in the world. One of the tastiest. And we got fish and chips, too. So, nice. so cool, you guys. So this is by far one of my favorite pieces of aquatic life right here. This is kelp. And these things are like basically the trees of the ocean. That little piece that we're seeing lay right there goes all the way down, 110 feet to the very bottom of the ocean. They're pretty freaking cool. Sometimes these things will grow in these large forests and it makes a safe passageway through almost any inland area as you go through these, basically these inland passages and these fjords. Super, super cool piece of vegetation. One of my favorite ocean trees. long journey back to the dock safely. Now it's time to get these things cut up, get ready for dinner tonight. Oh boy, is it gonna be a feast. So obviously we got one of these on the last day fishy that you guys saw, just so happens. Marlon pulled another one out of the deep for us. So the way we're gonna do this, I learned all this last time, and I just saw his poor little head off right there at the base. And a lot of the cook for this thing comes in the prep once we're finally in the kitchen. Kind of a long process, but I'm very excited. I don't think these guys are really gonna wanna eat it with me. I think cameraman Sean will, maybe laden, but let's get this thing going. So what I've done here is I've removed the head. Now I'm gonna get its beak out, which is how it digests its food crazy little thing here. And it looks like something from a horror film. So this thing literally has like the same kind of beak as a parrot. Very, very weird. Here, let me cut into it for you. And as you can see there, literally, the beak is how it crunches up all those shellfish it eats, breaks through the bones and the flesh of those fish that it grabs. I don't think that beak would have gone through Marlon's jig though. This is a small one too. They can get up to like 100 pounds. Yeah, they get really, really big. 
It's a giant Pacific octopus, right? I'll try to remove a little bit of this skin here. to Alaska without getting your new Ray Troll shirt. Ray Troll, I'm coming for you. I've always loved Ray Troll's artwork and this is it here. You see he's an Alaskan artist out of Ketchikan, Alaska and he's got some of the most unique and noticeable art in the world um, and I want to make a shirt with him so everybody message Ray Troll and say hey you should make a shirt with Stay Fishy because it would be cool. All right, our next stop is probably the most important stop of this entire trip. And it is for an ingredient that we will be using a lot here in the future on Stay Fishy, and that is your Alaska Sea Salt Company. Let's go see what this place has to offer. As if this place wasn't salty enough. So this place has some alder smoked sea salt, some sea salt that comes straight from the ocean right here in Sitka. And I'm super excited to try it. I know it's gonna go good on a lot of our dishes here, so let's take a look around, see what we can find. Yeah, we got original alder, blueberry, sick of spruce, fresh lemon, spicy hot pepper, coffee bean, rosemary, vanilla bean. I'm freaking out right now. Okay, let's try it. All right, that's fine. Grab a couple flakes, bite into it, flavor come through. Mm. I love how coarse it is. Mm. Mm. Obviously getting the alder smoke. Can I try the spruce tip? Ooh, that's got a really nice spruce smell to it. Yeah, fresh, bright, clean. Mm. Oh, that's good. I love that. Okay. What's your what's your third favorite? You know, vanilla bean because it's so unexpected. All right, let's try it. I mean, they're all delicious, but fruit and all that, but vanilla bean. That's really good. I'll definitely get the alder. Okay. I'll definitely get a spruce tip. Um, ooh, I gotta try the rosemary. Did you try too, the though. blueberry? No. You gotta have the blueberry. Okay, I'll try the blueberry you won't be able too. To taste it. And I mean, local water. If it says it's uh, blueberry salt, it's Sitka water and wild blueberries. That's it. That's so neat. So, yeah, this, is this what it comes out after you kind of process it? This is, I let these get a little bigger than normal, but that's the shape of all the crystals. That cool, hollow pyramid. Wow. Yeah. That's how cool. Like That's what's in the, the bag is just smaller versions of those guys. The gotcha. original broken pieces and little pyramids. How neat. Which is why it's got such great texture. Yeah. You bite into it and it's... Oh, I love it, especially for a finishing salt like that. You know, you get those good chunks that you want with each bite. All right, well, let's do alder. Let's okay. do spruce. I'll do the vanilla bean. Kind of have to. And uh, I'll stick with that. Okay. Works for me. Okay, well, our job is done here. Super cool town, you guys. If you ever do get to Sitka, come and check out these stores. Definitely come get some salt and get yourself a Rage Hole t shirt. But with all that being said, it's time to go get this octopus and this rockfish. Maybe a little piece of the salmon going. What a cool day. Let's go eat. It's octopus time, everyone. And if you guys are wondering and you watched the last Stay Fishy episode that was posted, we caught another octopus. There's just two pusses in a row on a Stay Fishy episode, which is monumental, if you ask me. But that last octopus, I was gonna share on this video, but it just turned out we were in Alaska. We decided to make a video. We were going with the flow, and we caught another octopus, obviously. So, we're gonna cook this one. But the last one we actually took to my friend Lester's house, and this was actually for a Mother's Day barbecue that they were doing, and his wife Maria actually cooked this thing up, and so we're gonna kinda of follow the same recipe, and I'll cut to some B-roll shots of how we did that. First, we're gonna blanch the octopus. We're gonna actually take the octopus, the whole thing, once this water's boiling, and we're gonna put the thing in the water and let it boil for about an hour, hour and a half. Then, I'm gonna start a fire here behind me, and we're actually gonna roast this thing over the fire. And I'm gonna use a little bit different recipe than what we used uh, at Lester's house on Mother's Day. But this time, we're gonna twist this up a little bit. We're gonna fire roast this octopus, and we're gonna add this Korean barbecue sauce that I found in an Asian food market not too long ago. So, the Stay Fishy Munch of the Week, Korean barbecue. I think this is gonna be great. So we got to get our water boiling, we're gonna get a hard rolling boil, we're gonna blanch the octopus, and we're gonna chop off the chunks that we wanna cook, get our fire started, see how this thing turns out. 
Okay, so we've got a rolling boil going on our pot. It's time to blanch our octopus. And this thing, I think, is gonna make our pot overflow because it's a pretty good, pretty good sized bus. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna take it and make a couple incisions. I'm gonna cut this thing right in half and use, cook just half of this thing. What an interesting creature. Okay, so how we're gonna do this, we're gonna just slowly dip each little piece in here. This is already starting to curl up. Slowly dip it. This is just some, from some of the research that I've done. I'm gonna slowly dip it until we start to get those pretty little pigtails on the end. Let's see those comments below on what you guys, ooh, look at that. Look how neat. Kind of shriveling up, getting those little bit of a twist. It's such a tender meat too. I cannot wait to try this. And we're gonna finish it with our Sitka salt that we got, the spruce salt. I think it's gonna be a great addition to that Thai, that uh, Korean barbecue flavor. Wow, look at that color. So it's only been in there for a couple seconds now, but you can see how it's starting to firm up. It's starting to get that beautiful texture to those, those suckers. All right, let's leave it in there. It's gonna boil for about an hour now, so enjoy. Okay, about 30 minutes has gone by. It's starting to smell really nice. It's getting more of a meaty smell rather than like that raw meat smell. Looking pretty good. You can tell it's getting more tender. It's getting a little more limber as time goes on. We got about 20 more minutes of boiling. I think it's time to get our fire going so we got a nice hot bed of coals when we throw this thing on there. an hour the octopus is definitely cooked it's awfully hot so I'm gonna go into this nice cold water bath so you can see here there's these little pockets of film basically just little secretions that come out of that octopus I think it's just fat really uh, so we're gonna put this thing inside the cold water now and we're gonna go through and pick out every single one of those we're gonna clean out all those little suckers and then get her seasoned up get her oiled up and onto the fire we go Wow, already I am super, super impressed. I could like peel this stuff apart already. Incredibly tender. I think that's more of that boiling process. What's the importance of that boiling process is just having, oh my God, even the little suckers are falling off. Wow, interesting. Got all the gooey stuff off of it. <laughs> We're eating alien, everyone. <laughs> How weird. So on to our next portion. And I'm just gonna cook the two tentacles. I think that'll be plenty for us tonight. I'm gonna lay these things down. Our next step is gonna be our oil. So I'm gonna put a little bit of time, make time for this. A little bit of rosemary in there. Jalapeno olive oil, which should be a really nice touch. Just a skosh of some balsamic. Let get that all mixed together real nice like. Ooh, that looks nice. It's all coming together, it's all happening. It's all happening right here in front of our eyes. Give it a little flipper dipper. All right, time to get our grate over the fire. Let's get this thing roasted. Get a nice braise on each side. Right there, yummy. That looks amazing, you guys. Beautiful. What a beautiful meat, too. I'm really impressed. This is the second octopus I've ever had in my life. I bought it at the store a couple of times and tried to make pokey and some different stuff, which we'll probably do a little prelim to some other episodes. Uh, but we'll probably do some more sushi style stuff with this because obviously some of this is going to be going in the freezer. I need the creator for this octopus and this amazing meal. This is going to be awesome.
wow, you guys, I can already tell this is gonna fall apart in our mouths. Add just a little bit more of that oil and vinegar. Brush that around here. Give this a good shake. This is some authentic stuff right here. Korean rib marinade. Ooh, we have this real nice coating here. I'm gonna get that on there thick. Back to the fire to finish her off. All right, I think it's time. Okay, I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit more of the glaze. Why not? This stuff is absolutely delicious. Munch of the week paid off this week. Moment of truth. Let's see how tender it really is. Oh my God. Look at those beautiful chunks. I am really surprised I could cut this with a fork. Holy canokes. Steam coming off of it. Beautiful, tasty, scrumptious, and juicy. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie, it almost tastes like bacon. Ooh, I gotta eat the tentacles. Little baby tentacles. Mmm. I can finish it all off. We're going with the Sitka spruce salt on this one. I think that spruce flavor will be a really nice finish on that. Nice little salty finish. Beautiful Pacific giant octopus over the fire. Mm. I know you can buy octopus like this. Look at those beautiful little crumbles of salt. You can buy octopus like this just about anywhere. I found it at Safeway before or just through your local food mart, depending on what part of the country that you live in. But it's not that hard to find, and I must say, that is a treat. There's a lot of different ways that you can cook this stuff, but I gotta say, if you do go buy some, and you gotta hanker and try some octopus, try it over the fire, try it with a little Korean barbecue sauce. Oh my God. Just watch how tender this is. Mmm. Literally tastes like a meat and bacon. Super healthy, delicious flavor. I'm gonna have to go get me some more of these. All right, everybody, that is a wrap for another Alaskan adventure. And be on the lookout because on June 11th, I'm heading back to Alaska again, and we're gonna be doing some more videos, probably a little bit more time spent. This last trip to Alaska was mainly for an addictive video, so if you guys wanna see the really awesome fishing that this place had to offer other than what you saw today, go check that video out on the Addictive YouTube channel. And until next time, same time, same place, you all stay fishy, we'll see you out there.